All right, so this is another part of uh, the many projects I have. This one is to power a Raspberry Pi with a um, few batteries overnight. So if, uh, if I lose power to that Raspberry Pi, it continues operation. You can see up here, it actually is running. It's actually booted up and wants to know my password and such. But um, right now, if I turn off Let's see the power. The display went off. I came back on, but it's saying there's a 5.0 volt, 1.0 amp going out, and that goes to this Raspberry Pi. And uh, it's amazing. <laughs> um, I can light that up. This has a little flashlight on the end. And you can just turn it off. So you double click to turn the light on and off. Um, if you hold it in, it'll it'll cut off power to everything and the Raspberry Pi will cease to operate. Um, just a heads up, just to confirm. Nothing, no wonkiness, that, that Raspberry Pi is still running. Uh, they, this does support up to 2.1 amps, only on this port on the end. There are two ports. Um, let me get a better view. Here's one. <laughs> there are two ports in the end there. Now you'll have to be careful with the middle port since uh, you know these micro USB devices plugs they're kind of thick sometimes so you might have trouble getting all three wires in here. Um, I have four Raspberry Pi Zeros so I definitely need uh, two of these. I got two of them for ten bucks total. Um, now I'm just testing if the Raspberry Pi Zero does work without an issue with what I need it for with just an amp of power. Uh, it seemed like that would be overkill for this guy anyway with what I what I do with it, but I just wanted to confirm. Um, so that means I can use both Raspberry Pis. I think if I only had the Raspberry Pi in this slot, it could use the full two amps or 2.1 amps. But if I'm using two Raspberry Pis, uh, this one will be limited to one amp since the other amps over here. I was able to charge my phone using one of these wireless charging devices, so that was fun. Uh, this is an old 18650 battery. Don't pay any attention to this. This, this thing isn't worth anything. It's, uh, it's almost dead, 323 milliamps, but it's, it's useful in small projects like these. The plan is to wire up like eight or nine, or, I don't know, many, many batteries that are actually better than this. <laughs> I've got some laptop batteries coming that, that, I'm, that uh, have been recycled, so I'm going to test all those and find the best batteries to fit in here and for there. So I'll make two power bricks and then I'll make a, um, a 3D printed case just so that this is easier to interact with. There's like a little button there to, to press. So, yay. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll just show you if I, if you see the Raspberry Pi, just to confirm, if I hold down the button, it should lose power. Yep. Just lost signal. So, you know, just, just trying to show I'm, I'm doing, not doing any smoke and mirrors. That's actually what's going on. Now it's booting up. Little. <laughs> um, I'm planning on getting something like this. These are some case holders. I haven't made a decision yet, uh, but I got these individual ones for a different project with charging and testing capacity. So I needed these single holders, which were like uh, 10, 10, 10 of these for like $6.50. So, uh, and then I just soldered it on to the correct left and right so yeah so far it looks like it, it works a lot of people had issues on the Amazon reports and I had my issues at first as well I couldn't get things to work until the the percentage actually increased I think it was like 97 or 98 percent when I actually could use that extra um, port like sometimes this would light up and not do anything and finally it just started working so I definitely need a lot more uh, batteries for the amps that I'm going to be drawing from these batteries. 
This is increasing voltage, so you see 4.14 volts. It's increasing it to the 5.0 volts that your USB needs. Um, so it, it definitely needs more amps to be drawn out. I think that's like a little inductor it uses to do the power conversion. But you're just gonna pull more amps out of the batteries to increase the voltage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, so far, the, one of the other things I love about this is not only that, that they have two ports, but they have a percentage, whereas my current power bricks, they just show me four lights, if it's uh, good or not. So, yeah, this is a pretty good solution for me, I think.